guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I actually want to play a little game with you all that I have come up with. It's called Cozy Emojis, and essentially what it is, is I am going to throw up a few emojis and see if you can guess what the Cozy Mystery series is that I'm talking about. Now, I decided to go with series rather than individual books, just because I feel like the books might be a little bit more complicated and the series better encapsulate what the emojis stand for because you can get a real gist of um, what the entire series is about, basically. So hopefully this will be really fun and if it's something that you guys like, I can maybe do another round of it. And so what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm gonna throw up some emojis and I'm gonna give you a minute to see if you can guess what they are and then I'll go ahead and reveal what the series is and talk about why I chose the emojis that I did. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm actually going to start off with a couple of easy ones and hopefully you'll guess what they are. If you're familiar with my channel or you've watched my videos before, I think you're gonna get them. That's why I think that they're easy. So let's go ahead and see if you can guess them. So for our first one, the first emoji that we have is a water fountain. Then we have a cupcake. And then last but not least, we have this um, theater performance mask emoji. So based on those three emojis, what do you think the Cozy Mystery series is? I will wait. Okay, ding ding, <laughs> time is up. Did you guess what the series is? No, maybe? All right, so just to let you know, the Cozy Mystery series that I was talking about is the Bake Shop Mystery series by Ellie Alexander. So did you get it? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> um, so let me explain to you how I came about it. Um, so we've got the water fountain because it takes place in Ashland, Oregon, and there is this famous uh, fountain in the town that I think has... Um, sulfur water it's from a sulfur spring it's kind of got like a funky taste to it but it's a real hit that visitors come to see when they visit the town now as for the other emoji the cupcake I feel like that goes without saying and to be honest I could probably go for a lot of bakery themed cozy mysteries but the other two emojis plus the cupcake I feel like encapsulates everything more obviously Jules runs a bakery and so the cupcake stands for that last but not least certainly is the um, masks the theater performance masks uh, because Ashlyn is very famous for their Shakespearean um, you know performances and everything within the town Lance Jules best friend he works at the uh, theater and kind of oversees everything there and it's just a real staple in the community so um, yeah hopefully you guys got that let me know what you think was it too hard too easy um, those are the ones that I think of when I think of the Bake Shop mystery series so let's go ahead and go on to the next one we've got three more emojis so the first one that we have is an eagle then we have a axe pickaxe um just a yeah an axe <laughs> and then last but not least we have a family with two boys so what do you think that one could be hmm If you guessed <laughs> the Meg Langslow series by Donna Andrews, then you would be absolutely correct. This one is a little tough, I can't even lie, even though I talk about this on my channel all the time. <laughs> Coming up with specific emojis uh, was a little bit challenging. So the first one, we've got the eagle. That kind of goes for the bird puns. Every single one of these series has a bird pun in the title, which I know I've mentioned before and I absolutely love. 
And um, granted, there are multiple birds that I could have used, but I went with an eagle. <laughs> Next up, we have this pickaxe. Um, I was torn, to be honest, between this and the regular axe, but um, I went with this one because Meg is a blacksmith. Now, granted, depending on how far along in the series you are, she may or may not be doing a lot of blacksmithing in between her sleuthing and being a mom, but I wanted to include it because um, that's pretty much what her role is. And last but not least, which this one on its own may not mean anything, but again, you have to use all three emojis as context clues, but it's a family with two boys. And I went with this one because our main sleuth meg has twin boys who we see essentially grow up in the series which is super sweet so they play a big role in the series which is why i went with this one did you guess let me know <laughs> all right so those are the two i would say easy ones again just because these are the series i probably talk about on my channel the most now let's get into the other three and see if you can guess them so for the next one here are the three emojis we have the statue of liberty then we have a cup of coffee and then last but not least we have a police officer so based on those what series do you think it is Now, if you guessed Cleo Coyle's Coffee House Mystery Series, you would be absolutely correct. Um, so if you're familiar with this series, I do think that these emojis make more sense <laughs> maybe than the other ones, or maybe not so much of a stretch, but obviously we've got the Statue of Liberty. We have to choose that one because this is set in New York, um, in Greenwich Village to be specific, if I remember correctly. Um, then we've got a cup of coffee. Again, it's a coffee house mystery series, that's a given. And lastly, we have a police officer emoji, which I chose this one because our amateur sleuth um, works closely with the police and slight spoiler, she ends up dating the police officer who she um, is in contact with a lot for each of the cases that she comes up against. So those are your three emojis. Again, let me know what you thought and if you guessed it. All right, so here we go for our next one. Let me know if you get it. So our first emoji is the Philippines flag. Then we've got a bowl of something. It could be a bowl of soup. The, technically that's what the emoji looks like, but a bowl of something warm because it's got little smoke plumes coming out of it. <clears throat> and then lastly, we have a calendar emoji. So based on those, what cozy mystery series do you think it is? All right, any guesses? This is Mia Manansala's Tita Rosie's Kitchen Cozy Mystery Series, um, which if you're not familiar with, you definitely have to read because if you love food, these books have amazing amazing food descriptions so um let me go ahead and break down what each of these emojis mean and how they relate to the story so the first one we have is a filipino flag which um goes without saying because our amateur sleuth our main character her family they're all um filipino and so that plays a huge role in the story because you know they've got a restaurant that serves that kind of food the books are titled that um so i feel like this one is pretty easy with that first emoji alone um then we've got our soup emoji which again goes back to the whole foodie concept because um there are lots of food references the first book arsenic and adobo features adobo um Again, there's food references that I think the soup closely relates to. And then lastly, we have the calendar emoji, which I chose because I wanted to represent the calendar girls, which essentially are a group of ladies. I think that they're all our um, main sleuth Lila's aunts, um, meaning that they all, they're, they're called the calendar girls because of their names, like June, May, I'm, I think 
maybe there's somebody else in there, but um, basically that's a reference. And the aunts play such a, I don't want to say they play a huge role, but I'd say that they're pretty uh, memorable. So that's definitely why I went with that emoji. <laughs> Last up, here we go. Let me know if you can guess this one. All right, so the first emoji we have is a ball of yarn. Then the next emoji we have is a vampire. And then lastly, we have the Union Jack flag. So based on those, which series do you think I'm talking about? Nancy Warren's Vampire Knitting Club series, you would be correct. <laughs> I feel like this one also, I I didn't think was too hard to come up with emojis, um, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Did you have a hard time figuring it out? Um, was it challenging? Was it easy? Let me know. So let me walk you through my rationale so that you can understand how I came to these emojis. So the first one, a ball of yarn. Again, that goes with knitting. I mean, that's in the title, <laughs> Vampire knitting club if you're unfamiliar with the series um, it's exactly what it sounds like it's a group of people who are vampires who have formed a knitting club in which they get together and knit different things so um, a ball of yarn I feel like was such an obvious choice that I just had to go with it and same goes for the next emoji which is a vampire um, I feel like this is the one that really gave it away because let's be honest there are so many knitting emojis that or so many um, knitting cozies that the knitting emoji that could be any of them but you add in that vampire and that's really when it becomes a little obvious if you're familiar with this series that is so obviously there's vampires in it i went with a vampire emoji and last up the union jack flag um the series is set in the uk and so essentially that's why i went with the flag and so i think it was the vampire and the union jack flag that really kind of narrowed down and honed in on this specific series but again let me know did you guess did you have problems any of these actually <laughs> what did you think about them so there we go just five i wanted to introduce this fun game let me know what you thought if you guessed them uh if you haven't read any of the books let me know if these emojis or my brief description of them uh compelled you in any way piqued your curiosity to maybe even pick them up i'm always interested to know whether you guys have read series that i talk about and um yeah that's it quick little intro to my cozy emoji game let me know what you thought and um if you would be interested in me doing a round two I think I might be opening up some suggestions or like a comment box or something um, in my stories over on Instagram. So follow me over there to keep a lookout because I want to get submissions or ideas from you guys on um, which series you think I should do next if I do a round two. So anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was super fun and it really made me think about the book and its themes or the series and their themes to figure out emojis to match up with them. So I had fun and I hope you did too. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. In the meantime, happy reading and I will talk to you all later. Bye!